the eagerly awaited Math Expo 2024. It is an absolute pleasure to have each and every one of you here today as we celebrate the marvels of mathematics. Now, as the anticipation mounts, we are privileged to be joined by some truly distinguished individuals. For the ribbon cutting ceremony. Together, let us signify the beginning of a journey filled with exploration, innovation, and is our esteemed chief guest, Dr. Raj Kumar Dev, a luminary in the world of mathematics. whose expertise and passion have inspired countless individuals. As we accept for the rhythm of progress and innovation, let us marvel at the symphony of intellect and dedication weaving the tapestry of inspiration that transcends the realms of your exposition. Together, let us invite the spirit of collaboration and discovery as we witness Conversions of brilliance upon this hallowed stage where ideas flourish and boundaries dissolve. In this magical procession, let our applause be a chorus of admiration, honoring the luminaries who guide us towards the boundless horizons of mathematical excellence. So, let us join hands and hearts as we greet them with reverence and gratitude. For it is their presence that enriches this gathering with an aura of unparalleled significance and promise. With a resounding ovation, let us welcome them to the stage where the wonders of mathematics await to be unveiled in all their splendor and majesty. Thank you. On behalf of MBA team organizing this event, I extend a heartfelt, heartfelt appreciation for your gracious felicitations, your unwavering support and encouragement are the bedrock upon which events like this flourish as we are truly honored to have your presence here today. Now, I would like to direct our attention to the special moment that encapsulates the essence of this gathering. We humbly request our chief guest to release a much awaited second edition of our mathematics magazine, Matipo, a completion of the brilliant articles authored by our students. This magazine stands as a testament to their dedication, creativity and passion for the subject. And we could not think of a more fitting individual to inaugurate a dwellers than yourself, dear sir. Let us put our hands together as a chief test and the second edition of Magico and share in the celebration of our students' achievements. What is mathematics? Until that a book, is there a There is a book called Mathematics, something page 1 to page N is mathematics. See? Okay, what is mathematics? How do you understand mathematics? See, if a book is given to you, so how do you say it's a mathematics book? Some sums are there, what is some? Some figures are there, numbers are there, some figures are there, okay? Then you say it's a mathematics. So, mathematics is 
the signs of numbers, some formula, some figures, some spaces, some relations. Is that correct? So mathematics is a science which contains all these things. Okay, now for any human being for he is exposed to mathematics first. Because even in the childhood days, we are exposed to counting. Am I right? What is counting? How many people are sitting here? How you see this way? How do What's her name? Huh? Ivanish. But she says this one. Then she says this is two. This is three. Her name is not three, is it? So what you do is without realizing that. Thank you. So without realizing that, we relate numbers one, two, three, four, five to these people, then we relate something called functions. I think I have said students call something called functions. Fx equal to x squared, something like that. So what you do is, you relate numbers to persons. We call that as a count counting. So without understanding this, without knowing this, without, we are using this from our time. So now parents use this. Go and check how many things are there, how many parts are there, something like that. Parents used to take it. So, counting is the first thing. So, we are exposed to mathematics from our childhood days. So, remember that mathematicians who are good in mathematics is a great genius. Just remember that. Because we imagine all these things. See, what is one? Who is this? Some curve, is it? So, what you do is, if I care something like this, this is two, this is three. So we relate some figures with something. Then, very simple thing. Mathematics is a part of science. Just remember that. You have a science book. That is different. But mathematics, people say that it is queen of sciences. I don't know how many of you have heard about this sentence. Mathematics is queen of sciences. So mathematics is basic for all these things. See, you have in your school, there are different departments. Mass department is there, physics department is there, they have a lab, is it? Chemistry department have a lab, biology department have a lab, mass department, but it's a science department, is it? See, in math physics, you say that uh, what is your paper? They show some instrument, last for some instrument, they show that. Chemistry, what is hydrochloric acid, they show that. Chemistry, what is this specimen, they show that. In mathematics, you have all things in your mind, am I right? They try to imagine all things in your mind. So mathematics is great people. See, people, people who are good in mathematics and shine everywhere. Just remember that. Uh, nowadays, so without knowing that, like uh, Einstein, people say that differentiable functions, integrable functions, something like that. In calculus, you study that. A lot of concepts they study. We don't see what is this. Because a lot of figures are there. We try to illustrate by some figures. That's all. All things in our mind. See, in I, at least now, the boom is IT field. People say that software, but IT field. What they do is they try to imagine and do things. They sign programming, they do that. But remember that, in my experience, in teaching mathematics, I have seen that. Lot of top people in the software industry and IT field are mathematicians. They have basic degree in mathematics and got there. On a simple example, I can say that my daughter did her PhD. Everybody said, I'll send her the engineering. She said, I want to do only mathematics. Okay, so she did mathematics, then did MCA, then went to IT. Within 10 years, she had took a very top, big level. And under her, lot of her graduates, classmates who did be join her, under her, work under her. Because, because there, in some of the industries, they see only efficiency. She says that since I take mathematics, so I am able to shine well. 
That's an example I have seen in law and other people. Now you can see that in Tata Consultancy, the chairperson did an MCA in St. Joseph's College and he is a mathematician, mathematics. So a lot of so when you do mathematics, you can shine very well. So mathematics is queen of sciences because in every branch of science you can see mathematics. In physics, they use mathematics. There's a speed. All these things related in, in calculus, they study with velocity, all these things. In chemistry, they use mathematics. Then biology. Hmm? In biology they use mathematics? Yes. Lot of because I had done my research in only combining mathematics and biology. Because you had about some DNA, had about that DNA. DNA is a string. So that they have a lot of mathematical structures. So I have some collaboration with Japanese company. So for some pharmaceutical company. So we gave some mathematical structures for those people to formulate some structure, study the structures of DNA. So they biology people, now previously when I was a student, people don't like mathematics, go to biology. Nowadays it starts like that, is it? If you don't like mathematics, so don't say that I don't like mathematics. Try to study mathematics, you shine in life. Okay. So now we similarly, it is also called, now it's not a standard terminology, I always say that mathematics is king, king of arts. After the queen of sciences, it is king of arts. Because in commerce, there is mathematics. In economics, even in there is mathematics. Because I know that in economics there is a paper in mathematics. But in politics, they use mathematics in politics. RSCL and Matthew Spender are there. So they use mathematics, see, to predict the election results. What we did is they always look into the survey. What is a what is a prediction? That is completely statistics, which is a part of mathematics. Okay? So Everywhere, any branch of science and arts, they use mathematics. Then, what branch of mathematics is the logic which is in philosophy? Which is in philosophy? Because the logic is one of the main things which is in, used in computers. Computational logic. So they use mathematics. So everywhere they use mathematics. So, okay. Now, if let us start from these numbers, what are numbers? Numbers are some figures, okay. So we use counting, okay, what to create some numbers. What are the type of numbers we have? First is natural numbers. What is natural number? Starting from 1 to So you remember that definition of natural numbers, remember that natural numbers are God given numbers. See, God gave all things in full. Am I right? So how many people are sitting there for two, three, etc, 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 I can say the number. So how many trees are there, how many plants are there, how many sands are there, God knows. How many stars are there, God knows. Okay, so natural numbers are God-given numbers. All the other numbers are man-made numbers. Am I right? So zero, we destroy things like zero. Am I right? Then we break things, we make fractions. There is a number of rational numbers, am I right? Rational numbers is numbers of the form A B B. How what is A B B? For example, 3 by 2. What is 3 by 2? 1 and 1 by 2. One full thing then? What is up? What I can do that? So we break things. So then fraction comes. Then then, rational numbers then, other numbers, real numbers. So, based on calculations, all the other numbers are made, remember that. So, God-given numbers, some man-made numbers, other calculation by human being, okay? So, remember that, that there is numbers called rational numbers, irrational, they call serial numbers, then 
complex numbers, k plus i, k, the hydrogen distribution, we know about that, I don't know how many people know about that. So, so this, all the numbers are man made numbers. So, remember that, we are exposed to the God given guess, first thing, numbers. So, we are part of that. Okay. Now, so what my advice is, try to do mathematics. Very well, okay? And another thing, I want to appreciate all the teachers. My respect for the school teachers. Because it is not an easy thing to be a teacher in a school. I think all of you accept that. I can control 100 students, college students in a class easily. But managing 10 kids from K LKG is very difficult. I think LKG people agree with me. So, I appreciate the school teachers for all the contributions you have made to the community. Because I remember the school days. I was very average in mathematics. One teacher, he always has a cane in his hand. And a small mistake there to get a blow in the back. I can't tell it to my parents. If I tell my parents, I'll get another blow. Okay? That is for them. He taught me the methods of mathematics. That's how I think you will groom your students. So I appreciate you. Remember that the teacher's contribution for the community is very good. So remember that another thing, we don't normally afraid of bugs. Okay, so they will be shut and they go. But school teachers, they are afraid of the students and also nowadays afraid of their parents. <laughs> okay, sorry to mention that, but it's sorry. Okay, so remember that. So I have said something about mathematics. So try to do mathematics. And we are having good mathematics in India. Like can you say mathematics? We our name like remember it comes to Ramanjan. Mm -hmm. But there are I think in the magazine also you have mentioned about that. There are a lot of in the Vedic period also there are a lot of great mathematicians. Ari Vata, Bhaskara. So there are a lot of top mathematicians in India. And remember that, I think all of you know about that. Zero is found by Indians. Sunya, they call it Sunya in Hindu culture. So from that, zero comes. So a lot of things contribution by Indians. So I want some of you to become a mathematics like that. So one day, after 10 years or 15 years, if I'm alive, I say, oh, people from St. John's is a big mathematician. I must say that, okay? So, I want you to be a big mathematician. You know that? Indians, I have, now I have sit there and been invited with people from several countries. Now, most of the people, they say that, a lot of people you know, from US or UK, they say the math department, when I ask about the master department of that institution, they are from particular Indian is there, Indian is there. So Indians play a lot of role in different universities across the globe for improvement of mathematics. Now only we have a list, small list which we know. There are because they say that one of the Japanese told me that Indian has a lot of logical thinking. Because due to our simple circumstances, from childhood days, we, we are thinking a lot of things. We have to cross the world, I have to see. Because, I think, everybody knows about the people around us, but when they go to other countries, they saw that. Easy to cross the road or other things, because when the signal is there. Because here it is not the case. We always follow the survival. We think, 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 think. Remember it? We always think. So, that is another thing thinking has to be there. It is built in our mind. So, that's the reason why the Indians are shining in mathematics. Now, recent days, the FCR Rao, I think the papers you have seen that one of the recent top mathematicians, like I think last year, he's one of the top mathematicians of the world, then Harish Chandra. So there are a lot of mathematicians, top mathematicians of the world are from India. So, I want you to be one of the mathematicians. I greet all the teachers, train them, Bring Rama, some Ramanujan among your students.
And once again, I thank you all for your attention. I thank the management for inviting me.